Hello everyone, this is Sidekick Jason with another unboxing. Today we're going to be looking at Playrail Ryan. So, um, yeah, this is him. This is the box that he came in. So, it's not only Ryan, but we've also got Skiff in there, which is pretty cool. Um, taking a look at the box, it's just the standard Playrail box, but we've got the actual edition of Skiff on it, which is really cool because they actually, they advertise Skiff being in this pack just as much as Ryan, which I really like. Cause it's like, hey, if you're gonna get two characters, like you might as well promote that. So it's cool. Like even here, you got double, double the artwork. So yeah, let's take a look at each side. So we got down here, a visual of the whole pack, CGI um, front view. Over here we got the pack also in a different picture. Um, and then we got the CGI faces over here. On the back side, we have instructions for Ryan, but also they explain how to put the sail up for Skiff, which is pretty cool. And yeah, it's instructions because they don't like to put the instructions on the inside. Um, but yeah, pretty cool packaging overall. Um, so yeah, let's take a look at Ryan. So we'll open him up, maybe. Okay, let's see. All right. And there's a little tab thing that I talked about in Bell's interview, which is really cool. Okay, now this is what I'm more used to when they have a bag, where it's the whole thing is inside a bag. Uh, so yeah, all right, well, this is the pack. Let's take a look at it. All right, so, styrofoam. Okay, let's first take a look at Ryan himself. Um, Ryan, oh, whoops. Ryan is a very interesting um, play rail engine because part of me likes the look of him, but part of me also really does not. Um, and I think a lot of the issues with this engine stem from the fact that they use the standard chassis that they've been using for most of the engines at this time. So like it's the same one that Gordon and James have now. Um, but yeah, it seems like they tried to add some detail in certain places, but then they also really skimped out on others. So we'll go through, let's take a look at all, all the sides and I'll talk about it. So. I like that they gave him a white running board um, and the painted buffers in the front, like it looks like a standard uh, play rail engine. Um, they also made his face slightly smaller, just like how he is in the, the TV series, his actual CGI model. Um, so from the front, he looks pretty good. Uh, he doesn't have cab windows, which is kind of a bummer. That'd be nice if they had added that, but oh well, you can't, can't have everything. Um, but for the most part, like, I mean, it's pretty solid. Um, on this side, it looks pretty good at first glance, but some stuff that I don't like, the wheel arch is not above the wheel, which is really annoying. Cause like on Thomas, at least they aligned it. Um, in the like Trackmaster 2 versions, they, I mean, they haven't cared about aligning anything, but um, so it's kind of a bummer that PlayRail didn't take the time to try and align it, but that's because they were using the base here when they really shouldn't have. Um, Ryan's like, face and his boiler is bigger than it should be as well. Um, th this is one play rail model that's really disproportionate. Um, one thing that really does bug me though is the fact that his wheel inside here, you can't even really see it, but he has a wheel depicted here, but it's not painted at all, which is annoying because then they, they painted the back wheel here, but not the one inside there. If you can, I don't know if you can see very well, but yeah, which is really annoying because it's like, it, it, it's just lazy at that point. Like it, this is this is a model that you can see some laziness from from Tomy and Playrail. Anyways, so yeah, but I mean the the design looks pretty good. Um, it looks like you can't. It doesn't say Ryan on there. I was wondering if you could. I don't know. Yeah, it's just gold. So I mean they they've at least added some nice details here. It would have been nice if they had painted these handrails and whatnot. Um, wish these could have been gold as well, but I mean, it, it's not the biggest issue. I mean, the wheel is a bigger issue in my opinion. Um, the backside, nothing is painted, which is just straight up lazy, which is kind of dumb because they'd even put the, um, 
oh, what's it called? The brake pipe um, right here. So it's like they took the time to, you know, add all this stuff, but then they didn't even paint it. So that's kind of kind of a bummer. Um, I mean, at least it's not as bad as not having the front buffers painted. That's something that's, I think, really lazy of PlayRail. Um, one thing <laughs> that I think is just really bad on this engine is that there's no coal here. It's just this flat black part. Like, it's like a black box back here. But um, I don't know. It Maybe someone correct me in the comments. Does Is Ryan's... Um, cab painted black or is it is it solid purple like this I'm, I'm guessing it's solid purple um but it just seems silly that they wouldn't put any cold texture or anything it just seems lazy so it's kind of a annoying also i think it's really disproportionate i don't know why his coal bunker is as big as his cab so kind of frustrating but yeah um design wise other than that i mean those are kind of my key issues the fact that he uses the chassis um when it really shouldn't have, and then everything else is kind of disproportionate. Then, oh, one main issue that I, I really have with him is his face is, it, it's too cartoony, which PlayRail has kind of been going this direction, and some models don't have it, which is nice, but a lot of them and kind of most of the destinations nowadays have kind of this more cartoon look. Um, and they, they were even doing this before Big World, Big Adventures, you know, kind of the, the brand had that more direction where it was trying to be a cartoon type of thing. Um, and so it's annoying that Ryan's face is a little too over the top. Like he, he seems too happy and too cartoonish, um, especially if you compare like CGI. That's not CG. Crap, I grabbed the wrong Thomas. <laughs> oh. We'll use Percy. I'll have to go grab the other Thomas. But like, if you compare these two, like Percy's face looks solid, like the CGI um, series, but Ryan's looks cheesy. Um, his pupils are really big and yeah, I, I don't know. It's better than the, the track master version in my opinion, but like, it's still, I don't know. It kind of shows how far each, uh, different toy line has kind of drifted on their own, but yeah, I mean, it could be worse, but it definitely could be better as well. So that's Ryan. Let's take a look at Skiff. So the nice thing about Skiff is they actually depicted him being on this like flatbed and that he himself is not, he doesn't, Skiff does not have wheels in his body like the Trackmaster version depicts, which also I'm kind of bummed that I don't have one to, to show with you guys. Um, so yeah, this is Skiff with his sail on. You just, this, the sail is supposed to fit in here and you can just pop it off and place it on top. Um, there was another version of Skiff in one of the like five packs that he was brown like he was in most of the movie, which I thought was really cool. But this is nice because this is how he looks like from here on out, which if I, as a kid, I would want this type of version of Skiff because this is what he would be after the movie. So um, really cool, though, is he actually does spin like in the TV series. So I think that this is epic that um, it's just awesome that, that PlayRail included that. I mean, you can literally have him flipped backwards, um, but it's fun because you can you can remake. Um, I, I think this is one of the best skiff toys out there. So, I mean, they did a great job with him. Um, you can fit like a capsule PlayRail Sailor John on there and it's the right size. And so, yeah, overall, uh, great looking engine or not engine, but great looking uh, PlayRail item. Really happy with it. So, yeah, there's skiff and then the saddest part of the whole bunch is this <laughs> ugly orange truck and playrail has just started to drift over the years and thinking that you know all the rolling stock needs to be bright just like what trackmaster did for some time um or well, well what they're still doing they also drifted this way as well and i don't know I, i'd be curious if like they've actually done any studies to, to see if it does improve sales to have like one really bright colored wagon because most of the, the sets now that they're having, they're, um, they're placing at least one really bright colored uh, piece of rolling stock in it. Like the new Edward has a yellow van. The new Henry has a red truck. Um, so, and maybe that catches kids' attention more, but I, I don't really see what the purpose is, especially if like, when you look at the packaging here, the truck is down here on this end where you can't even see it. So it's not even really used for advertising purposes. Like I think, 
as a kid, what I would have wanted and, and what I still think would, would be a better choice is if they had put like, you know, one of the standard trucks that you see in CGI nowadays, like the red ones with the black lines or just, you know, any other ones. I, I would have preferred a more gray troublesome truck. So like at least with Percy, they, they still give a normal, um, normal troublesome truck. But this looks like such a better quality item than this. This just looks cheap. So, and there's not even really much of a difference except for that they put a sticker on this one and, and painted it a different color. So I, yeah, I think the bright colors just make it, make things look cheap. And I think when you have rolling stock that is as vibrant and bright as the engines, when you look at it, you're, first like the first thing you look at is not necessarily the engine but kind of the whole train which if when it's a engine and a dull piece of rolling stock the first thing you look at is the engine which i always liked that we had a bright engine at the front and then like if the coaches were there the coaches are bright as well but then the rolling stock is dark and, and more grungy so yeah i mean that's this is really probably the a bummer but you know I, I can't complain too much considering that you get two whole characters that are pretty well depicted um i mean ryan could be better but a uh, pretty solid item so anyways let's open up ryan and actually put a battery in him let's see the big screwdriver because bell was a, a pain last time okay so here's the, the standard chassis that you'll find on most engines. You could actually like, you could swap this out with Gordon or James or a lot of the other new characters. Um, I'm not a fan of this style. Uh, I don't understand why they've made this area in front so big. And then, I, I mean, I've tweeted several things about this. There's a, the actual, um, the chassis that was used on Trackmaster Charlie, I think is perfect because it's a lot smaller. It's probably take about a half an inch off each side. So that way, I mean, they can do more things and make it more proportionately accurate. Um, I don't like that the switch is so far back here because then that leads to things like this, where you have the black um, area filled in that doesn't even have any coal. It's just, yeah, so that that's kind of the problem with using this standardized chassis. It worked well on like Gordon James because their their cab goes all the way back, but not for someone like Ryan. So, and I I really worried that when they design redesigned Thomas and Percy, that they would try and redesign them to this chassis. So I'm glad to see that they stuck with the original ones. Um, okay, let's see. Open up a new pack of batteries. No, I am not a fan of this. So the the battery, it doesn't just like go in. You have to like stick it in on one side and then pop it in. I don't know. This is of all the things to standardize to. I don't. I think this is one of the poorest designs. But another flaw with the design is that the um, the switch does not move at an angle. It used to move like back and forth like that. Now it moves like straight forward and back. So you guys can see. If the camera will focus, it just moves straight forward, which is it actually makes it harder when the the um, the shell is on it because it doesn't move as easy and it, it doesn't flow as nicely as like um, with Percy how this goes at an angle. It just automatically like it just naturally goes back and forth. This one is a lot stiffer to do. Um, sounds. Pretty good, sounds normal. Um, not really noticing anything in, in particular with that. So let's get the shell back on. And you, you can see why they didn't paint um, the middle wheel actually, because the I mean, they, these are separate items that or separate parts that are put together to create this shell or this chassis. And um, this part here would have to be individually painted as well because this these trailing wheels were actually painted with the shell because i believe the shell itself yeah the shell is purple so yeah they didn't even have to paint that so it's kind of a, like inconsistent which is annoying so i have to fit that through there seal him up i'm also not a big fan of like how there's just this black box that hangs down Okay. 
let's take Ryan and Skiff for a spin. Pre-built track. Okay. So he runs pretty good. Um, don't see any issues with him. Um, just runs like a normal Playro model. So. Looks pretty good. Enjoy having Skiff there on the back side. But yeah, that that orange truck is an eyesore. Honestly, I prefer like that looks tons better. What would have been cool is if they had included a car that would fit the the movie more. I don't know if there, there was something that they could have um, included that actually like for the retail uh, or the, the replaying value of the of remaking or kids playing out the story of Lost Treasure. So maybe, I don't know, maybe they could have included some dynamite cargo or something. That would have been fun or interesting. I don't know. It's just a shame that they, they just include that. But that kind of just shows how the quality has been declining over recent years. So yeah, um, that's Playrail Ryan. So the only one that is left to look at is Playrail Rosie, which just came out last year. So I'm sure many of you are excited to take a look at that. So yep, that's it for now. So thanks for watching.